choking on a peanut butter bar. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I was just choking on a peanut butter bar, so that's why I was laughing. If it is your first time here, hello, my name is Amanda. I would love if you would subscribe. I do a lot of nail polish, beauty, some lifestyle videos, those types of things. And if you are not new here, thank you for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. Today I'm going to do a what is in my travel makeup bag video and what I actually ended up using. We recently took a little weekend trek to New York to visit some family and I packed some makeup and I wore some of it. So <laughs> we're going to talk about what I packed and what I actually used and uh, that's about it. I have a, I changed my background around like, the tiniest little bit. I swapped some things and I feel like it looks a little cleaner. This is a little friend's Lego set. That's not going anywhere. Anyway, let's get into the video. This is a Sonia Kashuk makeup bag. I could not tell you how long I've had this. Uh, I don't recall purchasing it. I feel like it came with like a brush set of the... I really don't know. But this is what I used. Alright, first things first, things that I always see in here, a little mini lint roller. This just lives in here, along with some assorted hair ties. I did pack some sunscreen in here, the Think Sport sunscreen for my husband and myself, and then the kids for my daughter, and then also the Derma E Sun Defense Mineral Oil Free sunscreen for face. I know I've spoken before, I don't love sunscreen, I don't like the feeling, the texture, and the smell. These don't smell like sunscreen, that's why I wanted to bring those. Derma E and Think Sport were so kind to send those to me, so we are getting some good use out of them. And then other little like assorted travel things, the Dove Dry Spray Go Fresh like aerosol. This is just a little sample I've had in my bathroom. Like a travel size I've had in there forever and I wanted to use that. My perfume was the Bath & Body Works Picnic Summer Daisies. This is in my project use up for the year. So I wanted to uh, use that. Let's talk about some tools. I only brought a few makeup tools. I brought my eyelash curler. This is the Shiseido eyelash curler. I have always heard that this is such a fantastic eyelash curler and I never really believed it because I just thought it's, why it's so expensive. I think it was $20. And I'm pretty sure I got this at an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty deal. I think it was half off. And if you have sort of like more narrow or almond shaped eyes, this is amazing. It does not pull on your eyelashes or your eyelids which other more rounded eyelash curlers do. So this is by far my favorite eyelash curler. I mean, it's the only eyelash curler I have. I have very straight eyelashes. They have to be curled. I only brought a few makeup brushes. This is from Moda and it doesn't have a name on it. It's just an angled blush brush. It's kind of small. We have this from Wet n Wild. I do still have a few Wet n Wild brushes. I'm so confused about Wet n Wild's cruelty-free status, if I'm being totally honest. I still have some of the brushes that I've purchased from previous um, Christmas brush sets that they've released, and the brushes are great. I really do like them. I'm confused about the cruelty-free status, but I still have the brushes, so uh, you know it's wasteful to just throw them away. This is my favorite highlighting brush. It's stained, but I like the size. This brush from BH Cosmetics. This is from the It's My Ray Ray brush collection. I really like BH Cosmetics brushes. I like this. Buster is upset about something. This I use for my bronzer brush because it's a little more not pinched, but it's not quite as fluffy. It's nice for making a line, and then I can, you know, bronze my whole face with it. I really like the BH Cosmetics brushes I have quite a few at this point and I I have no quality issues with any of them. They're really, really nice brushes. I kind of have to make myself not buy more frequently. And then I brought three eyeshadow brushes, two from ColourPop and then this is the Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Blending Brush. I, I, don't, I haven't heard anyone talk about Beauty Junkies in a really long time but I have several of their makeup brushes and they're fantastic so I, I hope they're still around. This is one of my favorite blending brushes. It's really fluffy. Love a fluffy blending brush. And then these two from ColourPop. They don't have names on them because they were from the first release of ColourPop brushes. So they don't have numbers or names or anything. This is sort of a flat 
like fluffy shader brush and then this is a dense fluffy brush if that makes any sense it's not fluffy but it's not like a packing brush this is a little more of a packing brush anyway, I, I, I like those so I wanted to bring those guys for the makeup these are not you know new exciting things they're that's just what I brought it's not anything like life-changing they're just the things that I brought that I wanted to try to, to use on this trip so the Smashbox photo finish primerizer this is also in my project use up I'm trying to use it as much as possible I do like the primer but I, I definitely want to finish it because that was the goal I didn't even bring concealer on this trip I just didn't care the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer which I just will never finish I'm pretty sure that I will never finish it the Urban Decay Afterglow blush in video I love these blushes this is actually what I'm wearing today it's, the humidity today is 91% and it's not raining, so if that tells you anything, <laughs> it's sticky here today. The Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter in Beyond Golden Glow. I have both of these shades from Catrice. This is a fairly newish release, I think, from Catrice, and they're awesome. They're so good. And I think they were maybe $6? Like so good uh of course my milani eyeshadow primer my absolute favorite eyeshadow primer i did bring two palettes uh both are palettes that i wanted to try more this month they are in my my palettes i'm using for i almost said april what month are we in june and that is the ColourPop uh wild child palette very rich browns this is actually a beautiful palette i'm normally not like a neutral person I like colors but this is a beautiful beautiful palette and then wine and only two single shadows ColourPop super shock shadow and I heart this this is in my project use up for this year as well and then the Tarte Chrome paint in this is the tiniest thing pink diamonds and I actually did I did wear this one too I, I can't like really show you Pink diamonds. For mascara, the Doll 10 Beauty Illegal Eyes Mascara. I've really been enjoying this. Uh, I've been reaching for this over the other open mascaras that I have right now, which is the, I think the only one I have open right now is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. That's not my favorite. And I've been reaching for this over that. And then um, a lip mask, which is the Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lip Mask in Nectar. Just, it doesn't really look like a color. It's just is moisturizing and then i brought some lip glosses the fenty uh glow the gl gloss bomb from fenty fenty glow buxom full-on lip cream in berry blast and then full-on lip cream in mudslide just like neutral these are two that i'm trying to finish this year and then i just love this gloss i brought this as a setting spray but I, it's not really a setting spray this is the tower 28 save our skin daily rescue facial spray um this is not a setting spray it's just a like refreshing spray it smells like chlorine i like the smell of chlorine but it it was just a little alarming at first because i was not expecting that but it's a nice face spray so what i actually ended up wearing was the doll 10 mascara the ColourPop Wine and Only palette, the, the Tarte Chrome Paint in Pink Diamonds, and then the Urban Decay Afterglow Blush, and that's it. I didn't wear bronzer, I didn't wear highlight. Well, of course I use my Milani eyeshadow primer. That's what I wore. I am getting really good about not overpacking clothing, but I apparently still need to work on not overpacking makeup, so we'll see. You know, I like options. It all fit in here. It was fine. It didn't take up that much space. What kind of makeup do you guys bring when you go on vacation? Are you, do you bring any? Or do you overpack makeup? Do you bring nothing? What kind of makeup do you bring? I wanted to bring something that I knew I would like. I knew I would like the the wine berry colors on my eyes for something quick and simple. I think I just pretty much threw you know a bunch of the berry colors on my eyes and just blended it out. And, I didn't do anything crazy I, you know it's not the time to experiment <laughs> with makeup let me know what you guys take when you go on vacation so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions 
leave those in the comments and I will talk to you in my next video.